Hi everybody, Lori here from Mama Elephant. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to introduce two new products for the October release. First up is the sentiment stamp set. It's called Deliver Lots of Cheer. I'll walk you through all of these sentiments. May your heart be flowing with loads of laughter and friendship, special delivery. May your holiday be filled with magic and wonder, sending loads of love your way, wishing you tons of joy and happiness. Have an epic day with loads of fun. Sending you heaps of holiday cheer. May your birthday be overflowing with love. May your days be filled with adventure and wonderful memories. Hope your day is filled with sweetness and delightful surprises for you from me. Wishing you a holiday season filled with love, peace, and joy. Delivering holiday cheer and may your day May your days be merry and bright with a truck full of holiday delight. So a great sentiment stamp set that pairs perfectly with the deliver by truck uh, stamp set with the coordinating creative cuts. So you can pair those with the truck because there's lots of loads of sentiments. We're also going to be featuring the new ornament grid cover creative cut. And then it also has these teeny tiny little ornament toppers to go on top of the ornaments if you want to do that. This is a great die to fill with all kinds of goodies. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to die cut it. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can use this ornament grid cover. So I'm going to die cut it into a panel of white cardstock. And I'm going to use the positive and the negative. So there's zero waste today. And I just used some hammer mill white cardstock. Any white cardstock will do, but I was really excited um, to make a shaker card. I just wanted to make an ornament shaker card with this ornament grid cover. I die cut the little ornament toppers out of some glitter gold cardstock. I believe you get 12 little ornament toppers, which pairs with the 12 ornaments that you get in the grid cover. So I trimmed a piece of acetate to size four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to glue it to the back of this ornament grid cover die cut. I just use some liquid glue. You can use whatever adhesive tickles your fancy. And then I'm adding, since it's going to be a shaker, my favorite, um, what are these called? Foam adhesive strips. These are by Waffle Flower Crafts. A lot of different brands carry them, but they are great when you're making shaker cards. Okay, now for the base, the card base, like the little, that's going to be showing through, I wanted to add a little bit of subtle color. So I'm using some Distress Inks. Uh, what do we got? Saltwater Taffy. Dried marigold, I think that's what that is. A little squeezed lemonade, twisted citron, some salvaged patina, and a little shaded lilac. And I just, very light, just a little circular blending. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that'll give each little ornament a little bit of color. Look at how subtle that is, but still cheer. You could certainly do red and green. You could do pattern paper behind. Now, I had this idea from the Deliver by Truck stamp set, these cute little critters that are actually designed to put in the truck, like they're gonna be driving the truck, but I thought they could go inside the little ornaments. So I quickly stamped a few of them. I only, I didn't end up using all of them, so I think I stamped and colored five, but I only used four. I'll have an extra one later, but we got a penguin, uh, there's a kitty cat, uh, you know what? Sometimes I get tripped up and I don't know what these critters are. I actually asked my family, I'm like, I think that brown one is a sloth. Um, maybe a bunny? Can you tell me what some of these are. I don't always know. But anyway, they are cute. And I always have a soft spot for mama elephant critters. So I'm putting just a dab of glue along the bottom. And I'm going to put it behind, just peeping out from inside that ornament shaker. You could probably also put it on the top of the shaker. But I just put them behind. A little penguin with a red and white striped scarf. You know, I was tempted to do a rainbow striped scarf. But uh, there you have a little penguin peeping out. And um, let's see, what is this next critter? I'm going to go with bunny. Maybe it's a chipmunk. You know, it's up for debate. And then this last one, I'm thinking, is that a sloth? <laughs> I don't even know. But it's darn cute. Darn cute. And then there was one left over that I didn't use. Okay, so now for the filler. I have some little Studio Katia it's little um, star kind of glitter confetti. And I'm just spooning little dabs here and there, trying to control where it goes because I don't want it to get all over. And then a few light 
aqua and blue sequins. I just pulled them out of my stash, just a dab, not so much. Flip my card base over and adhere it to the shaker panel. Flip it over and I mean, I gotta tell you, this one melts my mama elephant loving heart. But we're gonna add a sentiment uh, using the Deliver Lots of Cheer. And I'm just gonna emboss the sentiment in white on a strip of gray cardstock. So first I prep it with a powder tool, ink up my sentiment with Versamark ink, and then I'll pour on some white embossing powder, heat that with a heat gun, trim it out to a thin little sentiment strip and pop it up right in the center of the card. So I chose, may your holiday be filled with, what's it say, love and laughter? With magic and wonder. Gotta love it. Oh, and then I almost forgot to add the little gold glitter ornament toppers. And that just really sends it right home. You know, it'd be cute if you did all different color ornament toppers, but gold kind of keeps it, you know, cohesive. So there you have card number one using the negative space of the ornament grid cover. Now I'm going to show you one using the positive ornaments. Another sentiment stamping from the Deliver Lots of Cheer. I'm just going to stamp this in VersaFine Onyx Black ink on a panel of white cardstock. And then I'm going to color in my ornaments. So I just temporarily adhered them to some scrap paper just to hold them down so that I could add a little blending for color. And I'm using the same Distress Inks. Here we have the Oxide Saltwater Taffy and um, what is this, Dried Marigold? I think something like that. It's a color I don't use often, but I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pull for it more because I like that soft orange. For the yellow, I use Scattered Straw. And you can see that I'm kind of blending just a little bit on the bottom left of the ornament and fading it up really. I'm not blending the whole thing. Leaving that white space at the top kind of makes it like the illusion that it's glowing or shimmering. It's also very subtle. I like this soft, subtle rainbow. But again, you could customize these with more holiday, traditional holiday colors. You could also die cut these out of pattern paper. A lot of fun ways you can customize. Now, before I adhere them to my panel, I'm gonna quickly pop on the little ornament toppers. I went ahead and cut another um, bunch out of that glitter gold cardstock. I think that looks so fun and shimmery for an ornament topper. I'm using just a little bit of liquid glue and I love this embellishment wand for detail work. And then to make them look like they're hanging, I took some gold thread. I kind of thread it through the ornament and then the foam tape behind is what's holding it. And I will just kind of stagger these, kind of create a bit of a composition. And then that gold thread will be adhered on the back side of the panel. Another fun thing you could do if you wanted to stitch on the card. You ever Have you ever done any stitching on cards? I used to do it all the time, but now I've gotten lazy. I don't feel like pulling out my sewing machine. I don't have a place to keep it out all the time, but it is fun every once in a while to do a little bit of stitching. And you could do rows of gold stitching that would look like they're holding your ornaments. You could also do like a little embroidery floss. I just kept it really simple with gold thread. So I'm gonna put a little bit of score tape on the back of this panel and then remove the backing so it's real sticky. And then that will hold, I'll wrap the gold thread around, trying to keep them all straight. And that'll hold the thread in place. Put a little bit of foam tape on the back of this panel. And then I'm gonna pop it up on a soft gray card base. Beautiful neutral on neutral contrast. And not that you needed it, but I added a few sparkling clear sequins for embellishment and glimmer. And there you have it, wishing you a holiday season filled with love, peace, and joy. Two cards showcasing the new ornament grid cover and the Deliver Lots of Cheer sentiment stamp set. All these products will be available October 15th at Mama Elephant. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.